So guys, now we will take a very simple program and I will show you how a typical C program can be compiled across various stages of the compilation process. So we will take a very simple file test.h and test.c and we will subject this file to the preprocessing stage to create a text substituted source file called test1.c, right? So after the stage 1 itself, the role of the header file is over. There is no more header file required after text substitution phase of the compilation process. So pre-processing stage is the first stage of the compilation process and typically in this stage, all the hash includes which are present in this source file are replaced by the contents of the actual header file. And it happens recursively. For example, abc.h header file may itself hash include other header files, right? So in the pre-processing stage, all the header files are replaced by their contents and this process is recursive in case the header file hash include other header files. All the hash defines that you have in the source file which you are compiling are actually replaced by their typical definitions, right? And after the replacement of hash defines by their definition, the hash defined themselves are removed from the text substituted source file, right? So now let us quickly see this pre-processing stage in action. We already have a good discussion about the text substitution in the beginning section of this course. So you can see that I have two files test.c and test.h. If I show you the contents of this file, the source file is very very simple, right? And the corresponding header file is even simpler. So in test.c file you can see that I have hash included test.h header file and I have defined a very simple macro to compute the square of the number, right? And then I have taken a hash defined constant and assigned its value as 100. Now in this source file you can see that I have implemented very two basic simplest function that you can write. The first function is to compute the square of a number and the second function is to compute the area of a circle. Right? And we have a main function and you can see that in test.h header file I have just defined the value of the hash defined constant pi. Right? So you can see that in our source file which is test.c, I have hash included the test.h header file. And in this source file I am using the constant pi which is defined in the header file test.h as 3.14. So now let me subject this test.c source file to the preprocessing stage and see what does the preprocessing stage produces as an output. So in order to only subject the file to pre-processing stage, I'm using GCC compiler and use minus E flag and then the name of the file and then you can rename the file to test1.c. So the text substituted version of this test.c file will be saved in test1.c file. So now let us see the content of test1.c file and you can see that square macro has been replaced by its definition, right? The definition of the square macro was simple that is x into x. So you can see that the hash defined macro has been replaced by its definition. Similarly, the hash defined constant pi has been replaced by its actual value, right? So in this text substitution source file, you will not see any line which starts with the hash. All the hash includes and hash defines has been processed and replaced by their actual content or definitions. So you can see in test1.c file there are no hash includes of the header files. It means that the role of the header file is over right at the pre-processing stage. Now in the next lecture video we will discuss what happens in the stage 2 of the compilation process which is called compilation stage. Thank you.